Hi, I'm Thomas Feng. I'm a recent Bachelor of Commerce graduate, so I've been where you are and I know it can be difficult trying to get your head around what you need to do to get started. I'm here to run through a couple of key points which I hope will be useful. During your time at university, you will hear a lot of terms you may not be familiar with, and this is what we call Melbourne speak. At Melbourne, when we talk about a course, we mean the Bachelor of Commerce, or the BCom as we often call it, not a subject. A typical subject in the BCom is one semester long and is worth 12 and a half credit points. In total, you will take 24 subjects in your BCom, completing 300 points, unless you have been granted advanced standing. You'll study several compulsory subjects that everyone in the BCom completes, such as introductory microeconomics and organisational behaviour. These are core subjects. You will also study subjects required for your major, and these are called commerce electives. And you will study subjects from other faculties, and these are called breadth subjects. This can be a lot to take in, so let's see how this works by breaking it down in a course plan. As you can see, there is some flexibility in how you plan your BCom. However, you do need to meet set points requirements at each level. For example, you must do at least seven level one subjects and no more than 10. Level one subjects are generally subjects that you will do in your first year or year one. Level two subjects in your second year or year two. Level three subjects in your third year or year three. But it's not unusual for students to take a level one subject in their second and third year. You will normally take 50 points or four subjects per semester. And this is required if you want to finish the course in three years. All students need to complete Introductory Microeconomics, Introductory Macroeconomics, Principles of Finance, Accounting Reports and Analysis, and Organisational Behaviour. These are compulsory subjects that all students that are studying the BCom must complete. There are two ways that you can meet the BCom's quantitative requirement, the Standard Path and the Maths Path. If you take the standard path, you will need to complete Quantitative Methods 1 at Level 1 and then one of Quantitative Methods 2, Introductory Econometrics, Business Decision Analysis or Market and Business Research at Level 2. If you are passionate about maths, you can complete a series of maths subjects to meet the quantitative requirement. Which subjects you will need to study at Level 1 will depend on what maths you have completed at high school. A large part of your BCom is studying subjects that will lead towards your chosen major. A major is a sequence of subjects in a particular discipline that will take you from an introductory level through to an advanced level. You must complete three specified level three subjects to complete a major, generally taken in your final year. Majors are available across six disciplines, accounting, actuarial studies, economics, finance, management, and marketing. Originally, I wanted to study economics and finance as my two majors, but I soon realised after my first semester that finance just wasn't for me. So instead, at the start of my second year, I realised that marketing was better suited for me and something I really enjoyed, so I chose it alongside economics. As you can see, you can also major in two discipline areas, or what we call a double major. There are some exceptions though. It's not possible for you to combine actuarial studies with full accreditation and another major, so if you are thinking of pursuing an actuarial studies major, you will need to start it from your first semester. If you are thinking about accounting, you should enrol in an accounting subject in your first or second semester. The first year of your BCom is a great way to try different subjects from each of the majors. You don't have to decide on your major in your first year, but it's a good idea to start thinking about it. To meet your points requirements for the BCom, you will need to complete a minimum of 50 breadth points or four subjects with the option to take up to 75 points or six subjects. One key thing to remember is that you cannot complete more than 37.5 points, that's three subjects, of breadth at level one. Breadth subjects are generally subjects chosen from outside the Faculty of Business and Economics, or as we call it, FBE. For example, you might choose a music, a science or a law subject, and these are subjects taught by different faculties. I was really passionate about the developing world 
and decided to take breadth subjects in anthropology and development studies. This allowed my passion to grow and gave my commerce studies a completely new perspective. It is important to note that there is a difference between commerce electives, which are taught by FBE, and breadth electives, which are taught by another faculty. Breadth is an opportunity to develop expertise aside from your commerce program and allows you to explore other areas of interest. Students may choose subjects from different faculties or choose to follow a particular breadth track. Some students take a sequence of breadth subjects that will allow them to be eligible to apply for graduate studies in specific disciplines. So how do all these things make up your study plan? Remember, you'll need to do four subjects each semester if you want to finish in three years. The level one core subjects are a good place to start. You might want to study introductory microeconomics in your first semester and introductory macroeconomics in your second semester. If you are taking the standard quantitative path, you can enrol in quantitative methods one in either semester one or two. If you are thinking of pursuing the maths path, you should start with a maths subject in your first semester. Next, you should add a commerce selective. If you have an idea of what major you would like to pursue, check the BCom planner and see which level one subjects you need to take to start that major. It's okay if you don't know which major you would like to do. The great thing about the BCom is that you get to try different level one subjects before deciding which major you would like to do. With your last subject for your first semester, you might want to add another commerce elective or a breadth subject. Not sure which one? Check out the university handbook. Mm -hmm.